we, we have definitely had to fire a client. It is never an easy decision to come to, but because of the culture that we maintain, if we have a client who is setting forth expectations that we know are unattainable, that or that we're in a situation where we feel the client is abusing the staff, that they're not appreciative of the work that we're doing, they're not being collaborative, they're being pushy and overbearing, it's just not a good match for either of us. And we don't want to be in a position, and I certainly don't want to put our employees in a position where they're unhappy or uncomfortable. I would much rather say thank you very much to that client, let them find an agency that will help them in another way. And I've actually gone as far for clients that we have fired, I've gone as far as introducing them to other agencies that might be able to work with them. Because I don't want anyone to leave us with a, a negative experience or that it, it just, you know, we didn't help them and we just left them high and dry. I really want to transition an account very smoothly. I will stay on the account for a couple of months to make sure that the transition happens. We'll introduce them to somebody that can really help them try and accomplish the goals that they're setting out for themselves. We've made a few changes to the business as a result of the recession. Most of them not drastic in any way, shape, or form. Most of them pretty simple and, and more a request to our employees. So quite often we've turned to our employees and said, we all know what's happening in the world around us. I wouldn't say we're insulated by any means. We are definitely seeing downturns from our clients, which are ultimately resulting in downturns to us. As a result, we just need to be smarter about how we're spending the company's money overall. So we've asked people to consider, do you really need to take a taxi somewhere or can you take the subway there? Do you need to have you know, a huge fresh direct order in the office or is it okay to have just sodas and just water in the office? So we're asking everybody to just think a little bit more conservatively, but it also kind of leads into a green theme that we have around the office. We have a green czar in the office who is great about making sure that we're recycling paper and that we're turning our lights off and things like that. And I think the whole process of asking people to take subways as opposed to taxis is really helping that whole green message. It's a really hard question to answer in our industry. Because if you had asked me three years ago or five years ago, especially five years ago, if I thought this is where I would be today or where the company would be today, I, if you had told me, I would have laughed at you. And if you had asked me if this is what I thought was going to happen, I would have told you probably not. So it's really hard to say. This company has reinvented itself so much in the past eight years from being just banners and paid search, which back then paid search was bought on a cost per thousand impressions basis, and now it's bought on a cost per click. Things have changed drastically. Social media didn't exist. SEO was a black hat technique that people were doing under the table and it was creepy. All sorts of things have changed. So I don't know what my industry has to hold for the next three to five years. I have my predictions on where I think magazines will go. I have my predictions on where I would love to see search go. I think there's gonna be a lot of game changing elements that come to the table that will force us to continue to reinvent ourselves. So what do I think will be in three to five years? I don't know. Will we be completely different in three to five years? Absolutely. My ideal role at Morpheus, and I have said this for, I think, seven or eight years, is to be the receptionist. I know it's <laughs> crazy, I know it's crazy, but I've always said I want to be the receptionist. I would love and what I envision for this company because I do have a team of entrepreneurs. I have a team of people who are just phenomenally creative and know the emerging trends and are figuring out ways for our advertisers to be there and figuring out ways to communicate with consumers in new and exciting ways. They're doing it already. I'm still involved on that level because they still need that person who is helping to deliver the historical vision and also the overarching strategy. And that's where a lot of my day-to-day -day comes. And I can cross-platform things across the agency that not everybody can do yet. But my vision for myself and for the company is that someday they're all gonna be so good at it that they just don't need me anymore.